Hello there YouTube, this is The Dictator for Mr Dictator Designs bringing you another Photoshop CS5 tutorial this time on the topic of how to make a profile divider or divider in Photoshop CS5 as you can see on the screen I've already made a profile divider with my channel name Mr Dictator Designs the divider itself is a two bar divider as you can see with blue bars and Mr Dictator Designs as it's my channel name as the logo or text in the middle of the divider I'm aware you can use these for MySpace, many forums and lots of other websites where you want to stamp your your, your own logo or image onto maybe even a forum topic so without further ado let's see how we achieve this within Photoshop CS5 first of all I'm going to open up a new document by going to file open or even that's wrong I need to go to file and new I'm going to in the preset I'm going to go to web and 640 by 480 is a little bit small for what I'm trying to achieve here so I'm going to go to 1224 by 768 and I'm going to make the background transparent as you can see we've got a new document open with a transparent background uh, the reason why you're seeing the white and grey pixelated areas is purely because that's the default option whenever you choose a transparent background within Photoshop let's carry on first of all I'm going to go to my line tool and as you can see I have blue set for my foreground color but you can also choose your uh, line color from set color for new layer up here in this little box I've already got it set to the color I want but you can slide the sliders up and down get the color that you want to achieve for your divider within the presets so I'm going to go back down to uh, blue but I'm going to cancel that because I already have the color that I want next with my line tool selected I'm going to draw the first line which is going to be slightly off the page and as you can see when I draw the line tool some of the lines don't quite match up so you kind of have to move the line tool until you get you, you see a thick black line when basically that means the line is distorted and what you need to do is to move the line about until you keep or sorry until you get the line to be a thin line that's my first line made now at the moment it shows us orange but I assure you that will be blue up here you can change the width of the line at the moment I've got it set to one pixel because this is a basic tutorial and a basic um, and profile divider anyway I'm going to draw another line because in as you can see in the first example or yeah the example that I already made it's a two line divider so go back to the untitled document or the document that we're working on and I'm going to draw another line again as you can see the lines are distorted and showing very thick and black but if we move that about until we get a very thin line that's a perfectly straight line so again I'm going to unclick my mouse and that will draw my second line now what I'm going to want to do um, because within Photoshop uh, whenever you try to copy and paste two different layers without merging layers which we will get onto into on, on further tutorials um, basically you will only select one of those layers so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file save as and I'm going to call this divider 1 within the format I'm going to save that as a JPEG the reason for this is the basically the file size of the picture will be dramatically reduced by picking JPEG and you can always edit it again within Photoshop once you open it up again so, so I'm going to save the file name as divider1 
and as soon as you pick JPEG it will add .jpeg at the end of the file name click save now I'm going to want to save that for the quality refers to how good the picture is going to look but also when you move the quality of the picture up to 9, 10, 11 or even 12 uh, that can actually increase your file size so be aware of that when you're making pictures or going through your projects within Photoshop CS5 moving on click OK now I'm going to close that down as I don't need that anymore and what I'm going to do is go to file open and I'm going to look for the file that we just saved which is divider 1 if I open that up by double clicking you'll see that it's been given a white background and Photoshop automatically gives a background color whenever saving an image with no background what I'm going to do to correct this is by going to my rubber tool right clicking and going down to my magic eraser tool what this does as you found out in previous tutorials is if I left click once that will get rid of that portion of the white background if I left click again that will get rid of that portion of the background and if I click in the middle of the two blue lines that will get rid of the third portion of the white background now you can't really see your white lines very well but obviously you know they're there so next thing I'm going to do is go to my rectangular marquee tool and as you can see up here I've already got my feather, feather sorry, set to 30 pixels you can mess around with this and try out different fe uh, feathers you can put a 10, 20, 30, 40, even 90 pixels and what this basically does is it rounds off the edges of your selection so as I've got this set to 30 pixels I'm going to select a portion of the divider holding down my left mouse key while dragging across the picture and then I'm going to release my mouse key and as you can see that's been given oval edges that's what feather does now I'm going to press CTRL and C I'm going to go to file new I'm going to open up a new web document and this time I don't want it to be so big so I'm going to give it call it 800 by 600 pixels but this time I'm going to give it a black background background color is selected here background contents and as you can see down in my color palettes I have my background color selected as black I'm going to click OK that will open up a new document I'm going to press CTRL and V that will paste the two user bar divider to your new document next I'm going to go to text tool I'm going to click roughly in the middle of the, the two bar divider and I'm going to again for the sake of this tutorial type in my channel name which is Mr. Dictator Designs I'm going to place that roughly in the middle of the divider now, as you can see I'm using the font as impact as I really do like that font I've kept the font to regular and it looks a little bit too small for this um, divider so what I'm going to do is make this slightly bigger maybe 30 points nope I didn't select the text first so by right clicking and dragging, dragging over your text you will then select 30 points that seems a little bit big for me so maybe we can go for 24 yep that looks about right I just slightly center that by eye next I'm going to leave the text as blue but I'm going to highlight that again by clicking at the end of the text left clicking my mouse cursor and dragging right to the end of the text or the start of the text sorry I'm next going to go to layer layer style and I'm going to give this a hmm a slight stroke I think now while we wait for it to load up there we go I'm going to get, change the color of the stroke here from white to black that just makes the text pop 
off the picture a little bit better and it gives the text a little bit more definition I'm going to click OK and maybe for this tutorial I'm going to give it an outer glow and that makes the basically gives the text a little bit of a, a neon glow you can change this or the color sorry I've left everything as the default for the outer glow uh, the same with the stroke the only thing I changed on the stroke was the color so going back to the outer glow everything's on default I'm going to change the color here by clicking the mouse and changing it to white I'm uh, maybe going to change, turn down the opacity a little bit as well to possibly 65. There we go. Click OK. And that is your basic divider made. I'm now going to crop the divider by dragging your mouse and holding your left cursor while dragging, and then right click and click crop. That will then small down your picture so it's not such a big picture like it was before with 640, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, 640 by 480. Next, I'm going to want to get rid of the background as a lot of forums won't let you, well, yes, they will let you post um, pictures with different black backgrounds, but it really won't look right when posting them on forums or websites with different color backgrounds to the image that you've already made. So again, like in pre the previous tutorial, I'm going to click Magic Eraser Tool. I'm going to click my background layer within the Layers panel. I'm going to single left click, and that will get rid of my entire background. I'm now going to crop that just a little bit further to make sure I'm keeping the file size at the absolute minimum that we require. That's centered correctly. I'm going to right click and click crop. Next, to finally save our file and get it onto websites, forums and other uses you may have for the divider, I'm going to click file, save as, and I'm going to call this tutorial divider 1. I'm going to change the file format from Photoshop PSD to JPEG. The reason why I change my files to JPEG all the time is because JPEG uh, basically condenses or smalls down the size of your file documents. Uh, I don't know if you can see down here, but the document originally is 181.5K. But if we save that, and reopen it. First of all, I have to close that. Sorry. Uh, no. Okay. File. Open. I'm going to look for my tutorial divider one, which is here. You'll see that that's converted the document size from the original document size it was 181.5k and it read here 305 point something k so obviously it's basically halved the file size again you'll notice that that's been given a white border um, I will address this in future tutorials but if you don't want to have the white border um, I suggest when saving your file you just leave it as the Photoshop PSD this has been the Dictator for Mr. Dictator Designs, bringing you another Photoshop tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, rate, um, and basically give me any feedback you can on the tutorials. If you have a problem within Photoshop CS5, um, please request um, a tutorial, and if I know how to do it, I will do it. Again, this has been the Dictator for Mr. Dictator Designs, bringing you another Photoshop CS5 tutorial. Thank you.